Hello, my name is Stephen Parker. Many years ago, at the tender age of 17, back in July 1987, I was a founder of the Manchester Bolton and Bury Canal Society. Uh, fast forward a few decades, and I now live in Walston, and my local canal is the Rochdale Canal. And I like nothing better than having a nice walk along the towpath and looking at all the heritage uh, that surrounds the canal, some wonderful stone bridges, locks, and wonderful scenery to enjoy. Um, I'm going to have a short walk now up the canal, and you're welcome to join me and see what you think. It is kind of bizarre. I'm actually walking along the towpath and I've got a mobile phone that I'm holding up <laughs> to catch you what I'm talking about. And it is kind of an alien experience, but if I've got to do it, I've got to do it. Um, so I've got a story to tell and hopefully it's worth listening to, you know what I mean? I've been doing this for a long time now. When I say a long time, I probably first got interested in canals in 1984. Um, I used to go walking with Butlin Group at the Ramblers Association and we used to meet up once a month, uh, go in a coach somewhere, do a bit of a footpath walk and then coach would be waiting at the other end to take his home. I always remember we had a walk along the towpath of the Shropshire Union Canal and that kind of caught me attention really. And then on another occasion, on the same coach, but not literally, um, I was coming back along the M6 motorway and I happened to glance left and I saw this abandoned flight of canal locks. And I was absolutely intrigued and I thought, well, what's that? You know what I mean? I wanted like stop coach on the hard shoulder and go and have a look at these derelict locks. But anyway, years later, I discovered that they're actually locks on Tewitt Field Canal uh, which is part of Lancaster um, so that was that and then I suppose the the main thing for me is back in about 1985 I moved to Little Lever with my parents well that's part of Bolton uh, and in that district you had this rather forlorn and derelict canal and again I thought well I'm a bit interested here uh, so what I did I managed to find an old Manchester A to Z street atlas and in that, of course, the old canal, all the way from like Bolton, Bury and Salford. And even with bits filled in, it still kind of gave me an indication where it went. So what I did then, uh, some instances I walked, uh, and other instances I got on my old push bike and I went down towpath and I had a bit of a point and press camera. <laughs> so what I actually did, uh, I'd get, say, to a bridge and I'd kind of find out what name of it were and I'd take its picture, take a few notes, etc. And then gradually over a period of time, I had quite a collection of these canal photographs. Um, so anyway, that led to me going into like local museums and libraries along the whole route of the canal. Um, and what I did then, I was looking at all newspaper cuttings, you know, like instructions got demolished, etc. Um, and I was kind of intrigued, you know what I mean? It was kind of like, wow, this is kind of fascinating stuff here. Um, so anyway, I started collecting like these old archive photographs when Canal were working um, and I kind of felt really sorry for it because you got to imagine in sort of like the mid 80s uh, the canal was completely derelict, uh, it hadn't really been used since 1936 when it burst and it was in kind of a bad way, you know what I mean, all the locks had been filled in um, I just kind of felt sorry for it, so anyway um, I, I did this letter and I sent it off to Waterways World and that got published. Um, got friendly with a reporter on the Bolton Evening News, I think he was called Frank Wood. And I always remember outside uh, newspaper offices on Churchgate in Bolton and he took me a picture. And I was only 17, I was quite self-conscious, you know what I mean? I wasn't used to kind of stuff like that. But anyway, then I did this guided walk. Um, again, from Bolton really. We followed the line of the canal, even where we're under St. Peter's Way, but not literally on it, you know what I mean? That side of it. Um, and that was a good walk there, and I think we got something like 60 people going to it, so it was really rather good. And I think 
uh, because of my enthusiasm and my passion and my desire, um, I think I caught people's imagination, you know what I mean? And and for some reason, people to see, well, I won't say they seem to like me because that's probably not the case, you know what I mean? But um, I think they kind of understood what I was talking about. And again, I was born in Bolton, you know what I mean? Um, so being a local, uh, they kind of adopted me, I suppose. You know what I mean? It's like, anyway, that were that. And then it kind of went on, you know what I mean? I got to 17 and I went into Rock Hall, which were like visitor centre on Moses Gate Country Park. Um, and I always remember it's like where wardens used to be based at Crawley or Valley Warden Scheme. And I went in there and I said, like, have you got a membership form? And they said, well, what for? Like, I said, well, I want to join Canal Society. I want to get involved and do something with it, try and save it. You know what I mean? He said, well, I'm sorry, there is none. And I thought, what do you mean there is none? He said, there's no group. So I thought, well, you know, you've got this like amazing historical canal from 1796 that kind of built Salford, Bolton and Bury. And there were not even a group like looking after it, protecting it, you know what I mean? And it was about the same time um, that the then owners of that canal, which were British waterways, wanted to dispose of it. In effect, they wanted to give it to Butland, Bury and Salford. You know, the bits that were left in their, in their ownership, like the water sections, uh, with a rather small amount of money, just to get rid of liability of it, you know what I mean? And all this were going on and they were talking about blowing these bridges up and filling the canal in on the Bury section. And I thought, I'm not having this, you know what I mean? This canal deserves a better fate than that. So anyway, I started this canal society, um, the Manchester Bolton and Bury Canal Society, I mind, in July 1987, at the tender age of 17. Um, so that kind of gives you a bit of an introduction about me, you know what I mean? And, and like you say, um, I'm kind of 50 now, you know what I mean? And it was last March on the 15th, I, I hit 50 and I thought, bloody hell, I'm getting out, you know what I mean? It's like, oh God, 50. The kids are growing up, you know what I mean? And I'm getting out. But anyway, I don't think age really matters, you know what I mean? If you've got passion, desire. And I think I've still got that in bucket loads, like, you know what I mean? And anyway, uh, this way, just to give you an introduction to me. And I suppose it's my first proper blog, really, you know what I mean? In, in many years, because uh, me and a good friend uh, called John Driver, uh, we kind of formed what we call Heritage Explorers and... And like many times we wandered along the old canal with tripod and video camera and like John would do filming and I'd be doing my little, well not a speech, but my little bit about canal, you know, history and that bit of facts. And, you know, it's kind of come full circle now because I must admit I kind of shy away from technology. It's not my thing and I, I still remember when you used to go to a bloody metal phone box, you know what I mean, to use telephone and you were trying to find 10 piece worth of change. But anyway, I finally um, had to buy a mobile phone. <laughs> I, I got this mobile phone from Amazon, I'm not plugging them. Um, and it arrived and I thought, well, it's not bloody working, you know what I mean? It's like in this fancy box and it, well, what do I do with it? You know what I mean? It's like, it's a bit difficult because I, I'll be honest, you know what I mean? I, I struggle with dyslexia. That's just me, you know what I mean? But anyway, I won't go into that. Um, but at least bloody great load of instructions and I'm thinking, I, I don't understand this, you know what I mean? Well, what's that about? But anyway, you know, it, it got sorted, didn't it? And all it means now I can finally start doing some blogs. Um, and I hope you find them interesting, you know what I mean? Because like today, I'm on the Rochdale Canal and it is my home canal now, you know what I mean? I live in Walston and I absolutely love it, you know what I mean? It's just such a nice place. It's that contrast between like this canal, you've got like, the urban scenery around Rochdale, and you can turn a corner, go under a bridge, and you're in the middle of nowhere, you know what I mean? It's just like really wonderful, and I, I kind of love it. And I got a bit of soft spot for this. Um, and recently, I'll give you a heads up, uh, there used to be a little branch of canal uh, in centre of Rochdale, uh, near Moss Lower Lock 50. And that little arm at canal, I think it's only about a quarter of a mile, it used to follow. Uh, side of Oldham Road and it used to under railway an high level bridge and it used to come out in some like really wonderful terminal wharves you know like basins you had the old fashioned warehouses an amazing place and then sadly over the years uh, that little arm got filled in 
uh, where those has got demolished anyway I won't spoil it too much because that's going to be another video um, but I set up this Facebook group called Rochdale Branch Canal and you're welcome to join it and I've posted a few things on there a few comments a few thoughts a couple of ideas and the plan is to protect it and ultimately restore it so we can get canal boats going into almost the centre of Rochdale again you know what I mean it's like wouldn't that be something to see and like them filled in basins like just before they filled them in you had all these like historic wooden barges you know what I mean these wonderful barges with names and they were left uh, rotting in these canal arms you know what I mean like amazing stuff anyway they filled them in and that site now is kind of a derelict land it, it was car park so what I'm really looking forward to is is like when hopefully we're going to get council on side you know what I mean like this group well, they started it probably a week ago. I think we've got 220 members now, which is kind of bloody amazing, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's like, it's amazing. <laughs> That's why you send me old videos. But anyway, um, so yeah, you know, like if we could like just excavate some of them, record them, photograph them, it'd be an amazing bit of like historical footage and it'd be good for like, you know, like kids in schools to learn about history area. But anyway, I better shut because I'm giving all me all my ideas away for this next video so i just want to say like a big thank you to listening to me and if you did like this blog then please subscribe to heritage explorers and this is going to be the first of many you know what i mean it's like if you don't like me and accents a bit annoying and just switch off i won't be offended but hopefully you'll stick with me and we'll have some right good canal journeys you know what i mean it's gonna be it's gonna be good anyway thanks for listening and see you next time. Stephen Parker, signing off. Goodbye.